I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be reviewing Lionel's brand new, never released, 57 foot smoking mechanical reefer car. So let's go. So this product was released in Lionel's 2020 Volume 1 catalog at the uh, beginning of the year and it literally just got to my doorstep a couple days ago so I was excited to uh, put this on the tracks and test it out. It's, uh, it's a really cool car. It, uh, it emits smoke through the, uh, the main doors and it's supposed to simulate the ice cold effect and it, 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 looks, it looks pretty cool. I like it. Um, and there's a lot of features about this car that uh, we need to go over um, that you can do with it. It not only emits smoke, but it, um, it actually, it's, it's a sound car. So it's got, it generates the sound of the, the um, generator motor that runs the refrigeration unit for the car. And it also has uh, Lionel's standard um, clickety clack sound, squeaks, rumbles. It's like a sound car, basically. Um, so it's it's a really nice car. Uh, it's got some good weight to it because of all the uh, electronics and the smoke unit inside. So I will go over in more detail the features of this car. Here's a close close up view of the end of the car. You can see the uh, separately applied. Uh, ladders and the handbrake and there's some nice detail and graphics on the end and here are the the Conrail lettering uh, I chose Conrail because growing up in New England um, Conrail was the prominent railroad in New England and I remember as a kid seeing the Conrail engines so I kind of have a an attachment to uh, Conrail I don't have that, all that many Conrail pieces, uh, but I'm, I'm collecting them over time. Um, I have a Conrail uh, PS2 CD hopper that I haven't even taken out yet uh, that you guys will eventually see in later videos. Here's, Con, here's the uh, Conrail iconic uh, logo, which I think is, uh, is pretty cool. So there are a couple of knobs underneath the, um, the reefer that you can control different aspects of the, of the reefer car. So this is your on off smoke switch. This is your switch to turn the sound of the generator that I spoke of earlier, the, um, the sound of the generator to run the refrigeration unit. That sound, you can turn that on and off right here. And then over here is it's a max min switch so when you have it set to max you get all the uh, frequent you know rumbles the clickety clacks the squeaks the squeals when you switch it to min it reduces those the the amount of sound that comes out so if you don't want all that sound coming out as frequently you can switch it to min right here and then down here is the volume switch. You can, you can control the volume that comes out of the car. And then over here on the left, you can see the uh, pickup roller and some of the circuitry here behind the uh, truck. And the other truck has uh, an, another pickup roller. Uh, so it's got two pickup rollers. And you can also see the uh, level of detail on the piping underneath. Um, really nicely done down here. Nice detail. So I wanted to show you guys more in detail what how you load the smoke inside this 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 uh, reefer. It's kind of interesting. It's it's unusual, unlike anything else I have in my collection. So there's a hatch here with a metal grab bar right here, and it's a it's a cover. And what you do is you grab it. I'm using pliers so you don't see my fat fingers. <laughs> you pull this off. It's held on by magnets. So 
see two little magnets so it, it holds in place and then in here you know the lighting's not so good but right in the middle there you can see a square black hole and that's where you have to take a pipette and you have to drop the smoke fluid in there I don't know if you can see it. It's right in the middle. It's between the, there's two circles. That's what holds the cover on. But in the middle, there's a black square and that's where you drop the smoke in. So you actually have to tip the car over and take a pipette and reach the pipette in there and drop the smoke in that square hole. So it's uh, kind of interesting on how to do that. And then um, to put the hatch back in, because of the magnets, you can just take the hatch and just drop it right back in there. It's a little tricky. See the magnet holds it in place and you can just line it up and cover it over like that. Then one of the safety features that, th that I think is kind of interesting about this car is if you see it right here, there's a black thing right above the door and it's a switch. So when the door, what happens is if the doors, if any one of the two doors is less than half open, it, it shuts the smoke off and it's the safety feature so that the smoke won't come out inside the car if the doors are closed and that's a safety feature. So it's a little switch right here that when it gets pushed in, there's like a little plastic tab here. When it gets pushed in, it tells the smoke unit that the door is closed and it, it not to produce any smoke. And there's a switch here on this side and then over there, you can see it there on the other side. So you have to, when you run this car, I know a lot of um, train people like to run trains with all the doors closed. This car, you actually have to leave the doors open so the smoke comes out because if they're closed, the smoke will shut off. And now, which you're probably all curious about is where the smoke comes out. So you see these five little holes at the bottom. That's where the smoke gets emitted between those uh, five holes. And it kind of wafts into the car and then it kind of, the smoke kind of floats out of the car, which I'll show you what the uh, smoke uh, looks like when, it, when the power is applied to the car. So let's get this on the tracks and um, I can show you the smoke. Also, one other feature uh, that one thing that I particularly like is this has uh, spinning uh, bearing caps. The bearing caps actually spin when the car goes down the track and you can see the, um, the spring-loaded uh, trucks in the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to apply power to the uh, tracks and you'll hear the sound of the diesel generator kicking on that's the sound effect and then uh you'll see the smoke coming out and wafting outside of the car so let me apply some power you can see here the generator i'm gonna wait a minute to let the smoke come out Starting to see the smoke coming out. See the smoke, it's kind of hard to see, but see it wafting out. Smoke is emitted through both sides of the car. And then when the car moves, so you can 
see the smoke. So it's a pretty cool effect. Okay, today I'm going to be running my uh, my Union Pacific U50C uh, with this train. So uh, here we go.
Okay, so um, you can still see this thing is really putting out a lot of smoke. Uh, I'm really impressed with this car. Um, one of the reasons why I got it was, well, the main reason why I got it is, of course, because of the smoke. I'm a big fan of smoke. Um, I always put my engines all on the highest level of smoke. Um, I think it's just a cool effect. So uh, when I saw this in the catalog, I had to have it. And I guess the uh, bonus feature with this car is all the sounds. I was impressed with the, the speed of the clickety-clack changed as the speed of the train changed, which I was uh, quite impressed with. So um, that concludes this uh, review of this car. And um, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.